welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing part three of my how I got into Barnard videos. Today's video is going to be about the extracurriculars I partook in or I have partaken in. Hmm. Someone comment down below which grammar is correct. Basically, it's the activities I participated in in high school. So right now I'm just looking at my college resume that I submitted to different colleges if they had a resume option. In the format of my resume that I use, there's a separate section for clubs and activities, that's what it's called. And I started listing my clubs and activities at the top with the one that I was most involved with that I deemed most important that my college admissions representatives would read first. So the first one I put is Student Government, SGA, Student Government Association. I was in student government all four years of high school. I remember my brother was in student government and he is two years older than me. There's like an eighth grade orientation, basically like incoming ninth graders get oriented with the school and the clubs. And this night was in April of my eighth grade year. That night I interviewed with the former SGA advisor. We now have a new advisor, but I interviewed with the old SGA advisor. It was relatively easy to get in. Honestly, because of my brother, like it was easier to get in because he was in it already. So my freshman year, I was class president. Sophomore year, I don't know if I was vice president. I think I was either class vice president or nothing. I'm not really sure, honestly. Junior year, I was student body secretary. Senior year, I was student body president. So then I listed the debate team. Now, I joined the team and the class. It was on my schedule as a class because you needed to be in the class in order to be on the team. I joined both of those for the first time my junior year. So I was only ever in debate my junior and senior years. But at the end of my junior year, I qualified for nationals. And at the end of my senior year, I also qualified for nationals. I was named co-captain going into my senior year. So after my junior year and after qualifying in the first year that I was ever in debate, I was named co-captain with another rising senior. I also earned what we call chamber's choice for PO, presiding officer of a congressional tournament. Now, normally I do PF, which is public forum tournaments and I mostly participate in the public forum event. However, at one of the tournaments in the beginning of the year, it is only congressional debate. And so we know, we don't wanna skip out on that. Oh my God, the lighting's changing, it's getting darker. Even though it was only Congress, that tournament, we don't wanna ever skip out on those tournaments. And so I participated in helping the novices of that tournament get acclimated and learn about congressional debate by being their presiding officer. They chose me as their chamber's choice uh, PO of the day, presiding officer of the day out of the two options. I have placed multiple times in different public forum local tournaments, but I've never placed at the national level. Next, I listed an extracurricular that I have been involved with my junior and senior years, and that is the literary magazine. Now, a dear friend of mine started the literary magazine and invited me to be on the board of editors because he knew that I was really keen on editing grammar and editing just literature and poetry in general. So I was on the founding board of editors both years, helping to curate, organize, and contribute to the first and second editions of the magazine at our school. So it was special because it was like the founding board of editors. Honestly, everyone just tries to make their resume sound super fancy, including me. I never exaggerated or embellished the truth. I just merely manipulated the English language to my advantage. Next, I was in National Honor Society 10th, 11th, and 12th grade, and I was the senior class secretary. Um, I was in math, National Honor Society, AKA Mu Alpha Theta, where we compete and tutor other students, and that was 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. I was also in Best Buddies, which was only during ninth grade. I was in Earth Guardians, which is like a green club type thing in 10th grade. I was in Spanish Honor Society 10th, 11th, and 12th grade, and I was co-president all three of those years. I was also on the hip hop slash dance team, and that was only during my sophomore year, grade 10, and I didn't have any leadership on that. Finally, I was in Social Studies Honor Society grades 11 and 12, where we just held food drives and stuff like that. Then in another section called Community Service, I listed the charitable walks I've been a part of, Honor Society drives, beach cleanups, and also 
I volunteered for Habitat for Humanity for five days with my sleepaway camp one summer, and that was during grade 10. Well, it was going into 11th grade. We demolished an entire house and rebuilt it to be a new structure. That was a really, really great time. Um, it took a week and we had a really good time. Then for athletics, I was on the cheerleading team my freshman year, so just grade nine. I was JV co-captain. That was only for one year during ninth grade. I was also on the cross country team during grades 10 and 11, so sophomore and junior years. I was also the boys volleyball manager for the JV and varsity teams because my brother was on it and it was easy to do so. I got community service hours for it and really good leadership and management experience. And that was only during grade 10. The work experience that I had had up until the point where I submitted my applications to college is as follows. I worked at my temple when I was younger during grades eight and nine as a teacher assistant. I was a CIT at my sleepaway camp. That was the summer of grade 10, which means the summer after grade 10. And finally, the summer grade 11, so the summer after grade 11, I was an intern at the office of Congressman Ted Deutsch. I worked at his district office as the tour coordinator. So if a constituent in my district wanted to go to DC and tour the White House or the Library of Congress or the Capitol building or a bunch of other different monuments, then I would be the one to schedule it if they decided to go to their local representative for those services. Right now, I'm interning at a law firm. However, obviously I submitted my applications far before this internship started, so that was not on my resume. Hi, I'm editing. Um, I just felt the need to say that I did actually have another huge extracurricular event in my high school career. It was my senior year. I was the first person to organize a dance marathon event at my school with the help of the University of Florida, who we collaborated with. We like paired up with them. I actually did not include that on my resume, which could have impacted me for the best to include it. And I just didn't because it wasn't done until after I had applied. Plus, I just, I don't know, I just didn't put it. Sometimes you'll do things your senior year that could have made such a great impact, but that you didn't complete yet, and you just don't put it on. I don't know. You know, I probably could have put it on. I don't know, I just felt weird about it. Anyway, that's it. Those are all the extracurriculars, work experience, and athletics that I participated in up until the time when I submitted my application. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative and concise. I'm working harder on being concise in my videos. So comment down below any other video ideas you have. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, turn on your bell for the post notifications, and of course, be safe and kind to yourself and others. Bye.